What's up gardeners, Devin is here and here you can see I'm hanging out with my beautiful succulents out on my covered patio on the north side of my home. So what are we gonna be talking about today? Bringing our succulents back outside for the summertime. If you've ever struggled growing your succulents inside your home and you've never brought them outside before, I'm telling you, bringing them outside for the warm season is the solution to creating happy, colorful, beautiful succulents. So in this video, I'm gonna give you a few quick points and tips on how to do so successfully. So I'm here in the middle of April here in zone 6B in Eastern Pennsylvania, and I just brought my succulents outside the other day. So what is the best way to do so? The first thing you need to look at is the average night temperatures in your region. While succulents are often uh, tropical warm weather plants, they're oftentimes much more hardy than some of our other house plants like anthuriums and philodendrons. In fact, I will bring mine out and leave them outside as long as those night temperatures remain above around 42 to 45 degrees Fahrenheit. That's pretty much the safe range. Typically they can even handle down to 40, but for me 42, 43 is the cutoff. So as long as night temperatures stay above that threshold, bringing them outside is what you want to do. Now I always tend to push the boundaries a little bit and I'm here in the middle of April and I've already brought mine outside. Typically what happens to me is I'll bring them out too early and then I'll get a couple nights in the, in the upper 30s and I'm gonna have to bring everything back in for a day or two. But I do so anyway because I'm a big believer in pushing those boundaries of our succulents. It really helps to toughen our plants up even more and allows us to kind of weed out those weak plants in our collection while allowing the stronger plants to thrive. And adding those extra couple weeks of outdoor weather will absolutely benefit your plants overall as well. So that's why I will typically bring mine out as soon as possible. And if I have to bring them back in, no problem, I'll do it. And I'll make sure I get my wife to help me. So next is the sunlight situation. As I mentioned earlier, I have mine on the north side of my home in this covered sheltered area that gets zero direct sunlight. Now while succulents do typically love the sun, you have to acclimate them to the outdoor weather, including that direct intense hot sun. So what I would suggest is putting them in a place that has no direct sunlight for at least a week. And during that week, the cells of the plants will actually start to thicken and toughen up, which will allow them to handle more intense sunlight over a week or two. If you put them out in too much sunlight too quickly, you will find that they will burn. And what happens when your plants get burned is that it will make them actually turn like a grayish white and your fleshy succulent leaves will actually um, start to die off. It doesn't kill the plants, but it will kill that foliage that has been burnt and it doesn't look good. So you'll have to cut that burnt foliage off anyway. Better to allow them to acclimate slowly and then over time introduce them to more and more sunlight. So in about a couple weeks, I will put most of these back out on my southern facing deck where they get much more sunlight and that will allow them to grow more quickly than they necessarily would here on my northern facing uh, patio. And the third and last point is to be considerate of rainfall. Now I'm fully covered over here. These plants get zero rainfall. Right now I'm getting temperatures in those uh, mid 40s at nighttime. So if my plants were too wet with those cold nights, that's not a good combination. While they can handle those cold temp those cooler temperatures in the 40s, they need to do so while being relatively dry. Now once they've had that period of acclimation and I have them back on my southern facing deck, having them exposed to the natural rainfall will be A-OK, -okay, particularly because all of my succulents are already well rooted. If you're starting some brand new baby succulents that aren't super well rooted in their pots yet, you definitely want to keep those sheltered from rainfall until they have really nice root systems. Otherwise, that excess rainfall will stay waterlogged in the soil and that will cause your plants to rot. So if you want to avoid that, keep them sheltered from the rain until they have those nice root systems. But once your plants are well rooted and in sufficiently more sunlight, then you can absolutely start to water them with much more frequency because with that increased warmth and that increased sunlight, there's much more opportunities for photosynthesis. So you need to add water to the equation to allow that to happen. Then you will experience much better, faster growth. And a couple points to round off the discussion is to 
Yes, make sure your plants have drainage holes. No, do not bring out those saucers underneath your plants. Leave those inside. You don't want your containers to be sitting in excess moisture. Don't expose them to too much sunlight too quickly. And lastly, be considerate of those nighttime temperatures to ensure that your plants are not being exposed to temperatures that are too cold for them to handle. All right. So now that you know how to successfully bring your succulents outside for the warm season, you'll start to experience improved growth, better color, and better success growing succulents. Anyways, thank you guys for joining me here on Plant Vibrations. If, and if you did enjoy this video, please make sure to give it a little like, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We're bringing new plant-related content every single week, trying to increase our, our plant community and enjoy growing plants together. Anyways, I'll catch you guys soon. Ciao.